Hi guys, this is a review of my Gladius lightsaber from Saberforge. I ordered this about a week ago and it arrived yesterday morning, so postage to the UK was pretty good. I was quite impressed with that actually. Um, when it arrived it came in the box with um, a few other pieces. Um, came with their standard like business card sort of thing, um, just with a few details on it. Um, the website, email address, that sort of thing. And then an owner's manual which is just, just a piece of paper. paper. Just sort of like general sort of care instructions on it, back instructions, blade installation, that's something if you don't know. I see that already, and then warranty. Um, also came with a 37 inch polycarbonate blade, it's the V3 blade, um, which I was very impressed with. Um, so it's got an infinity edge tip on it, so if I can try and get the focus. Um, so it's a nice long blade, um, very well made actually, I was quite impressed with that. There's um, the inner diffusing tube inside there has been well glued inside so it's not going to sort of come loose or sort of cripple or anything like that. I ordered it with a 12 watt blue LED inside um, so it's the new 12 watt LED I didn't get the soundboard um, which is probably my one regret of this purchase because um, it's a really really nice uh, lightsaber and um, I was just trying to it's my first order from Save Fortune so I was just sort of testing the waters a bit to see what they were like and I have to say this is most definitely not going to be my last purchase so this is the blade plug as you can see inside there um, it's a series of rings with holes in it which let the light shine through, which looks very nice. Um, it's not a bad representation of the colour, in real life it's probably a bit sort of a darker blue than that, it's quite a sort of light blue showing up on camera, but you can see the um, blade plug there which um, lets the light shine through nicely, although the, as it's 12 volt it's still very bright. Um, so working down from the top of the hilt, it has this nice um, sort of, it's almost like a guard I guess you could say, it's um, sort of um, protects the hand if you're gonna, it's not gonna do much job of protecting the hand, but it's sort of, it feels nice, it's nice to rest your hand against and good sort of for spinning with, and it's got these two very small trade points here, which are nice for just putting your fingers in, really, it's um, very comfortable to hold up there. And then you've got the activation switch, it's the non-lit non AV switch, um, just a matching switch. Um, it's very nice actually, it's my first AV switch I've got, I've got four, uh, three other lightsabers from different company, and they all have just standard guarded switch, but this is a very nice, very nice sort of filter. It's nice sort of, uh, sort of silver finish to it. Nice looking. And then there's this choke point down here, which is also very comfortable. It's good for holding, you're holding at the bottom of the light. So if you're doing like a two-handed grip, for instance, it's very comfortable holding there all down here. Um, it's uh, been nicely finished in black. Um, the black coating on that is literally perfect. I can't find any flaws in it at all. And then you have this silver ring here, which uh, complements the uh, the pommel, along with the emitter. The nice leather grip in between, which is it's got a nice grip to actually the leather grip. It's quite it's a bit thinner than um, the top of the hilt. Um, I tend to hold when just doing single hand. I tend to hold up here, um, but then for dual hand, it's nice to hold it down there. And then obviously you've got the pommel, which stops your hand from sliding down too much. Pommel again, very nice as I said earlier matches the emitter, so it's a nice sort of finish to the hilt. Um, then with their new Covertech wheel, which is literally the most highly designed Covertech wheel I've ever seen. Um, there you go, that's in focus now. Um, so you've got, again, it's like the blade plug one, but you've got a series of holes around there, and then rings machined into the side of the Covertech wheel. And then at the bottom you've got an uh, unscrewable pommel there. It's actually got the vent in for sound, so that I guess if you were to um, buy just a stunt and then upgrade it with sun later, you could. I don't actually plan to, but so that unscrews like this. And then, a little bit of shaking, and then the battery comes out. It's a um, 18650 uh, lithium ion battery, um, single one of those, um, which fits perfectly inside there. It's got the velcro around here to just hold it in place so it doesn't rattle about when you're um, spinning it and everything, but it holds it in place perfectly and it's actually really quite easy to get out as well, so that's a very good plus there. A nice solid feeling screw thread as well, it's quite, it's larger than MHS, the modular hilt system from the Custom Sabre Shop. Um, let's focus on it. There you go, so it's a quite sort of sturdy, thick screw thread, which is, it's good, it's nice and sturdy, won't damage too easily.
one other thing I've got to mention actually. Um, it's nice sort of detail on here. Um, you can see where the machining has come down here. I don't know if you can see on the camera very easily. I can wait for it to focus. There you go, you can see some of the machine lines. It's just a nice touch to it, really. It's a nice finish on the um, lightsaber, and that's it's like that all the way up on the silver. It's actually my first silver hilt as well. I've got three of the black ones. So it's nice to have a nice aluminium finish hilt to it. Um, this line here, there's a set screw inside there which holds the LED in place. So even when you take out the blade plug, the LED doesn't rattle around or anything. It's, you can hear there's absolutely no rattling at all. It's all very sturdily built and everything. Very well built indeed. I'm very impressed with the build quality on it. Another thing it came with is a little Allen wrench. It's a uh, 564th, I think, um, and with an 832 threaded um, set screw in here. You just unscrew slightly. Don't need to unscrew it all the way. Um, slide out the blade plug. I was actually surprised how small the blade plug is when I received it. How sort of like I know it's only one inch diameter, but it's just really, really nicely machined and everything. And it's, it's, you can see it's a metal insert inside a just a bit of a polycarbonate tube. Um, but that slots in really nicely and protects the LED from like getting dust or anything, or protects the LED if you just sort of happen to shine it into your eyes. You can't see it under there very well, but so yeah, it's it's bright. I don't recommend looking into it when you do that. Then this is the blade which it came with. You just slot that in, screw up the set screw. You don't want to screw it too tight, it's, um, as it's aluminium, if you screw it too tight you risk stripping the threads. I mean, I've seen people who recommend not screwing it up, like that sort of thing, because that puts too much tension on uh, on the aluminium to distortion into the into the screw, so just sort of thumb tight like that sort of thing. That's fine. And that's not that's not going to come out at all. You can see it's, that's not going to come out. And then I'll do a wider view of this in a minute. But that's your blade. So it's a very nice blue, very bright, incredibly bright actually. Um, much much brighter than any of the others I've got. I've um, not got any more 12 volt, but I've got. And I'll do a comparison in a minute actually of this. I've got a, um, this is actually an Ultra Sabres, it's a Warglaive, which I'm partly through modifying. Um, I bought a, uh, it's a single, um, I think it's actually Deep Blue Cree LED from the Custom Sabre Shop. Um, there's not, absolutely nothing wrong with it, it's very nice. This one's got sound as well actually. But, I mean you can see on camera, they're at the same distance apart on the camera and you can see Sabre Forge one is easily brighter. You know, as I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the other manufacturers or anything. They're really, really nice, but this is brighter, quite a lot brighter. So, I, yeah, I do have to re recommend the 12 volt upgrade. The blade lights up very evenly. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's the uh, V3 blade, um, so you can see the tip lights up all the way to the end. Um, which I, I don't own any of their other blades, but yeah, I mean that's just brilliant. Really, I mean there's a slightly lighter patch on there where it's lights to focus this to the point but other than that you can see it's very very nicely evenly lit there's no I mean like you can't sort of see the inside of the blade I mean on some blades you can get you get this definite sort of core effect and on this you can sort of see an outer edge to it but not much I mean it's obviously slightly brighter where the LED is but this is just on camera it's it's slightly noticeable on camera but it's actually much less noticeable in real life yeah, it's quite nicely balanced actually. Um, as I said, I tend to hold it from up here. Um, that's the balance point is about. I'll try and get it. It's just a bit further on from the tip of the blade, uh, the emitter even. Um, so it's about there, give or take. Um, so it's just a couple of inches in front of the emitter, which is a good place for. I mean, you can spin nicely. You lots of spins nice and easily. Um, from down here, it's a bit sort of front heavy really, um, but that's good for your second hand, um, for your training hand. It's just a quick show what it looks like next to me. Um, I'm about 5'6 tall, so not that tall really, but um, yeah, it's a 37 inch blade, um, and that's fine for me really. I mean, it's good for doing sort of spins in. Um, as I said earlier, the two checkpoints here, 
very nice at holding um, as you're spinning. Um, you can get some good spinning going on that, um, and then that's good for you know, sort of offhand blocks and that sort of things. So that's very comfortable. Um, the only thing about the blade length, if I was to wear it on the belt, I don't actually have the cover tech clip, and um, I've just got the wheel. Um, I'll be over it the next time. Um, is that? Yeah, that's obviously not going to work. So I'd have to have a short blade or no blade at all if I was going to carry it on the belt or something. Um, probably a 30 inch blade would be ideal for carrying it, that's the thing. Um, otherwise it's good length and yeah, it's a nice sort of weight um, to the blade so that you can get some good momentum going with the spins, which is very nice. So that was my review of the Sabre Forge Gladius lightsaber. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, so one more thing, I just can't recommend these hilts enough. It's incredibly um, good machining quality and like craftsmanship there and it's very artistically designed as well it's one thing which you don't get with some manufacturers um, it's just it's a piece of art really more than anything else um, so yeah really recommend them um, and thanks for watching